Hi, this is just a quick um, hard drive upgrade of an Asus X401A. Um, it's kind of the same process for the X501A. There's just a couple more screws, um, but everything else is the same. It's just a slightly bigger model. Now, things you're going to need is some kind of tiny little screwdrivers. I got this from the pound shop. Your hard drive and something to pry it open. I always like to use a guitar pick and some kind of light. I've got a a little LED lamp clipped on the desk here. Now, there's two ways you can do the hard drive upgrade. You can either just put the hard drive in blank and upload a disk drive with Windows 7 or 8 on it and run your setup, or you can do a cloning. Now, I've cloned my system. This has already got Windows installed on it, ready to go for when we turn it on. Um, anything to note is that when you clone a drive, you will need to reclaim the space back in your new drive if it's a bigger drive um, that partition won't be there so we will show you how to do that at the end quick little video right so first power off your computer I'll take the battery out because there's some screws to take out now the good thing with this all the screws are the same size except these two here and the screws you take out inside of the same size so there's no confusion there and there are no screws under any of the uh, free rubber pads some companies put them under there start by removing all the screws there's two here where the battery are Okay, when you've removed all the screws, just have a quick little look, check, make sure they're all out. Yep. Um, flip the laptop over. Now you want to put the screen back as far as you can, so you're not going to scratch it whilst taking this out. And you want to grab your, your pick or credit card, whatever you use. I always prefer to use a uh, guitar pick, it just seems to work better. Um, and just start somewhere where it feels comfortable. I mean, I'm right handed, so go from the right side and just slowly work your way down it don't don't worry at the beginning just slowly work around Take your time with it, don't get stressed with it, it's going to come off. Okay, and when you've worked all the way around, you just want to lift it up very gently as there are the ribbon tabs, ribbon cables for the keyboard and trackpad. And this is where your light comes into play. Just tilt it back slowly, this is why your screen's folded back. And here you can reveal the tabs, pick again. 
there's your keyboard and there's your trackpad which is stuck down just a little so it is quite hard to uh, remove and put back in just be careful with it okay now you can remove that next you just need uh, the power indicating ribbon which is above the hard drive and is stuck to it just remove that and now just remove the hard drive caddy Okay, now if you've done what I've done and cloned the drive, I suggest you just put the drive in loose at first um, and reattach the trackpad and keyboard just to make sure it's all working and um, not wasting all the time putting it together for it not to work. down loose for now I said there's no point putting it back together till you know it's working Okay, so when you're happy with the installation, remove the keyboard again, put the hard drive in its caddy and just follow the steps of taking it apart to put it back together and you're done.